Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am sorry it's been like three weeks since I've posted anything. It has been crazy in my life. I've been trying to get some really major projects done for other stuff and this ended up kind of going by the wayside. I'm still trying to work on that interview. Um, we're working on getting our schedules to match so we can get this done. In the meantime, today we are going to talk about the seven quarters of classes that you take in dental hygiene school. So let's get going. Okay, so there are a lot of classes that you take in dental hygiene school, and to keep this as short as possible, I am not going to comment a whole lot on a lot of these classes. I have some hilarious stories of stuff that happened in these classes, um, and I'm sure my guest will as well when she has uh, talks about them too, but it's one of those things where this could be like an hour long video and you guys don't want to sit through that. So this is me essentially just reading down through the different classes that you are taking when you're in dental hygiene school. This again goes to um, my school at Loma Linda University in Southern California. So this is their current curriculum and um, other schools will be similar. This will have some classes that the other schools won't because this is a Christian school and so there are some things in here I was looking through that you do take that would probably not be included in a public school. But overall you'll get a basic idea for, for what you learn. So starting off with junior year autumn quarter, you're going to do head and neck anatomy, uh, curricular practical training, interprofessional laboratory experience, oral anatomy lecture, oral anatomy lab, Radiology 1, uh, Preclinical Dental Hygiene 1 Lecture, Preclinical Dental Hygiene Lab, uh, and Loma Linda Perspectives. And that's apparently a religion course, and I don't remember that one, so that I think is new. Um, winter Quarter, you do your General and Oral Histology and Embryology. Uh, dental anesthesia, so they get you right into the anesthesia very, very quickly. Uh, local anesthesia and inhalation sedation. Uh, radiology 2, preclinical dental hygiene 2, lab and lecture, dental, uh, dental hygiene clinic, medically compromised patients, pharmacology for the dental hygienist 1. Spring quarter, uh, preclinical dental hygiene 3, preclinical laboratory 3, dental hygiene clinic, medically compromised patients, pharmacology for dental hygienists 2, introduction to periodontics, Junior Clinical Seminar, general, oral path, general and Oral Pathology for the Dental Hygienist, and Christian Ethics and Healthcare. Senior Year, so starting Summer Quarter, Etiology and Management of Dental Caries, Dental Materials and Techniques, Dental Hygiene Portfolio Practicum, Dental Hygiene Clinic, Introductory, introductory Statistics, hated that class, uh, Orthodontics Concepts for Dental Hygiene, aka how to clean them. No, it's, it's way more intense than that. Dental, uh, dental Health Education 1, Research 1, Junior Clinical Seminar, Autumn Quarter, uh, Curricular Practical Training, Interprofessional inter Laboratory Experience. I don't remember that. I don't know what that was. Dental Hygiene Topics 1, Applied Nutrition, Dental, hygiene, dental Health Education 2, Research 2, Special Topics in Periodontal Therapy, Clinical Seminar 1, Dental Hygiene Clinic 1, we've been doing Hygiene Clinic for a while, so okay. Dental Hygiene National Board Prep, Art of Integrative Care, Winter Quarter, Professional Ethics, Dental Hygiene Topics 2, Public Health Dentistry, that was kind of fun. Uh, clinical Seminar 2, Dental Hygiene Clinic 2, Dental Hygiene National Board Prep, Spring Quarter, Jurisprudence and Practice Management, Dental Hygiene Topics 4, Personal Finance, Clinical Seminar 3, Dental Hygiene Clinic 3, and Christian Perspectives on Marriage and Family. So total, uh, lecture hours 1,018, lab hours 488 hours, clinical uh, 836 hours for a total of 2,342 hours of schooling. Uh, which equals 117 to 119 units of classes. And just reading over that, it's like flashbacks. <laughs> it was a very busy couple of years. Um, so yeah, that is kind of your basic courses. Radiology, head and neck anatomy, um, 
preclinical hygiene, that's where you're learning all your instruments and how the teeth are labeled and all the basic stuff there. The pharmacology, that was really a difficult class. Um, introduction to perio, uh, oral, general and oral pathology, I thought was really interesting. That's when you start learning what cancer in the mouth looks like or, you know, just the different stuff you deal with in the mouth. You'll have people come in with weird sores and they go, what's this? And you go, oh, I remember seeing that in lecture. Yeah, so, you know, there you go. That's that's what you do for two and a half years. Um, I guess if you have any questions as far as like my personal experiences with some of these classes, I'd be more than happy to give you guys some funny antidotes of, of what happened to me in some of these classes. Um, especially like I have some great stories from radiology and those poor patients and um, just, you know, dealing with like kids for the very first time or even the first day when you're learning how to polish or the first day, the first anesthesia class, that was traumatic. Um, so, you know, and, and we'll go over that, I hope, a lot with my guests too, but I would love to give you guys some of my stories as well. So anyway, that's uh, enough for today, and I hope that gives you kind of a basic idea of the types of classes and courses and labs that you'll be doing. There's also a lot of off clinic stuff where you're on like rotation like because we were in California we actually went to 29 Palms the marine base and we got to spend a couple days out there every quarter and that was so much fun um and then we worked at an AIDS clinic and we worked at uh we worked in the schools where we go to the schools and we talk to the kids about dental caries um and all of that you know counts and so that was a lot of fun where you weren't always on clinic or in lecture or you know lab you were uh, occasionally out and about and kind of doing your thing they'd take us to different like parades and that kind of stuff and we'd set up a booth and we'd talk to people about their dental health and scream for oral cancer and that kind of stuff so uh, anyway lots of fun dental hygiene is a lot of fun so i hope you guys have a great week please like and subscribe i will actually record another video right now so we have something else for next week or maybe even later this week. We'll see. I got, I got some making up to do, you guys. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching and thank you. We hit a thousand subscribers. I am just blown out of the water. I'm, I just, thank you so much. That's, that's amazing. So I hope to continue to get, bring you guys great content and leave me a comment below and find me on Instagram and I will see you guys later. Take care.